So welcome back all of you to the next session on this uh, sourcing. So we have completed two sessions. We are in the third session actually. So let me go there and then share my screen. <clears throat> So uh, now go to VTAC. Hello, I am working upon. Let me log in. So let me open up the uh, sheet also. So we got a response from the first supplier now, when sub one has given a response actually. The RFP number in the response. <clears throat> so you now go ahead and then see it. He has given a response now. So if you go to the procurement and then go to the negotiations, you can now see info tiles also mentioning about his response actually. The info tiles also the beginning now. So he has given a 1040 as the total quote, and then there is the lowest response, and then 13 days are remaining for this quote actually. And then here uh, it says what uh, the active there is one active negotiation which is running in the place, <clears throat> and then new responses and then a new acknowledgement. All these things are coming in there, and the info that actually find is a very good, excellent one. <clears throat> so negotiation savings. So the IT spend and the things about seventy k is a sourcing negotiation savings actually. Right? So all these things are coming. <clears throat> Let us go there and then go to the manage negotiations, and then uh, put our negotiation number. 31806, 31806, and then query for it. I'm the owner, and so we can very well query. So click on it. The response has been received with the supplier now. So we'll now have a look at the response. Then we come, we go to actions and then go to monitor and then go to monitor negotiation. Go to mo mo actions, monitor, and monitor negotiation. You can see the responses by the supplier actually. Go down. So if you click on the response number, 68131 is the response number. Here is the, here is the one. So he has given a total code of one, 1040. And then uh, if you go and then see the savings by supplier, <coughs> it will not tell you how much is the savings. Okay. So 5%, 5 point some percent basically. Then the total 5.45 is the savings percentage actually. So uh, it is the difference between, uh, whatever you see, uh, negotiation summary, it will not tell you. <coughs> So current value is what one one zero, and then uh, he has given a quote of one zero four zero because of which you are getting this uh, five point four five percent savings. This includes his uh, cost factors also, and the cost factors quoting also is included. So if you click on the response, the hyperlink on the response. So you can go to the what's called. Uh, he has given attachment also, and then he has given a reference number. The header reference number and then note to buyer as a what I was a good note also yes, you know. So those things are also visible actually. And the attachment is also visible. And then uh, apart from that, what I was, if you go to the requirements area, and then uh, he has given the requirements as what ten. So it has to get automatically knocked off. You will not see during knocking off. The second one is a manual, so that we will be seeing it. So go to the lines now. Requirement is a very important one where you are going to what I was a decide whether this supplier will now supply for us or not because the negotiation. Uh, will be enclosed actually in reality. <clears throat> Only for such a high, high value, you will not go for negotiations, otherwise, you won't go for it. Go to the lines. In the lines, you go there and then have a look at it. So, he has now given one quote and then he has even attached a note. So, I click on the notes. There is a note existing on the line now. So, you can very well see. So, he is a, a line note to buyer actually. He has and then, if you click on the details, you click on the details icon on this one. So, you can even see the details. So, whatever he is attaching, everything is coming except on the beginning. When he is acknowledging the response, uh, that one I am unable to see. We are the best supplier. He has applied a problem. We are not able to see it. So, if you go to the details of the line, it will not show you the resolution. <clears throat> uh, this is what is the target value he has quoted is, and then uh, for the warranty he has quoted to one. <clears throat> so, this is automatic, and then uh, this will be a manual scoring actually. Uh, no, no, attributes are not scorable, remember. Only requirements are scorable, attributes are not scorable actually. So, click on the one. So, we are now seeing the response analysis of. Now, let us go there and then we'll now make the second supplier to respond back. The second supplier is going to respond back. 
So the second one is one and all. So uh, acknowledgement of the participant is not must, but if it is an amendment, we have to acknowledge. Amendments need to be acknowledged. Then only you can create a response actor. So we'll move there for the second supplier. We will now log in. No, wait. I will not go to what. Opera. <clears throat> then paste it over. The second supplier is going to log in now. So it is A2 dot N2. And then the password is welcome to three. The second supplier is responding back. So you got a notification, you will now click on the notification first of all. And then if emails are going properly, it will also be going over. So you are invited to the negotiation. So invitation has come out. You will now have a look at it. <clears throat> the emails also has to go. But because of some problems, it's not going to. So click on what happens, accept the invitation. So he is now going to accept the invitation. So invitation has come back. So it will be there. And then uh, here uh, on the PDF, uh, we are able to see this now, right? Uh, the PDF, you are able to see whatever the, even the, uh, uh, whatever you are attaching it on the cover or the, as I was called, insert variables, uh, they are also visible. And right? that we have seen now. Insert variables also we have seen. Uh, now. From where that Geetham University came? <laughs> I don't know. Because so many people are now working on that. Fine. Somebody might have set up over here, now, I think. <laughs> no, that is company's name, maybe from uh, your enterprise. Ah, maybe, yeah. Yes, exactly. My from my enterprise setup, uh, somebody might have made as a Gita University from that it's coming. So yeah, yeah, yeah very good. <clears throat> so somebody has uh, fiddled around on the enterprise, so it's now coming up as such. <clears throat> so click on accept invitation. He is now going to accept the invitation. So we will participate. I'll always put his name in the beginning now and sub two, and then click on submit. So you have not accepted the invitation. We will now see whether the accept uh, this one is now coming back to us or not. I will now go to my login now. I will not give a ten now. <clears throat> and then go to actions and go to monitor and then monitor negotiation. His acceptance is recorded or not? Also. You know, yes. Uh, viewed the negotiation. His acceptance is uh, recorded actually. Accepted the negotiation that is coming up. This place. New fancy will come in. Now he is going to quote now. Acceptance is not a mandatory one. But if it is an amendment without an acknowledgement, we cannot give a response at all. So you will now go there, you will now go to the supply portal now. But go to the supply portal and click on the supply portal. And then from there, you can very well start that. Sometimes the info on the supply portal also will tell you what exactly is there actually. So there are no nothing for him to do it now. So you will now go to the negotiations on the left hand side. And then you go to what? View active negotiation. You will now click on the view active negotiation from there. Is not going to so the be active negotiation is coming. You can even view it as a PDF also. <clears throat> you will now click on that. Uh, what's called the under, underline on the negotiation. You will now start to open it up. So the negotiation will open up. So once when you open it up, you will now have a look at it and then you will now take a decision about whether the quote or not. And you will now click on the cover page. And then this is the one. These are all the variables is coming actually. Right? We have seen the buyer name, find buyer name. And then the, the payment terms we are going to the price we are given that's coming. And then I don't know what is the thing with this one. I don't know what is the amount. I think the negotiation amount. I think fact, the cover page at least is all coming. Whatever insert variables through which we are doing, he is able to see. So we can even uh, provide a good amount of insert variables and then uh, inform him also. So this is coming. So previously it was not coming. Now it's coming actually. <clears throat> what is the overview? Insert variables again very well used while configuring. So the overview you will now have a look at general. <clears throat> okay, this is what these are all the things. So, okay, fine. When the close date is so and so, all these things are the rank volume device only. And then you know, click on that, go down in the introduction. I think it's the same one. All this is coming. You know, click on the terms and then have a look at it now. Fine. For the terms he's asking for. So, net 30 is not suitable. He may even quote a different one. Fine. So, that way it will be there. And then he will now see the requirements column. What are the requirements? He, this is the one which he will now primarily see. So, whether this suits him or not, he will now first of all see. If it suits, then he will now uh, decide to quote actually. And then we look at the lines, what are the lines which are being asked? So two lines are asked. <coughs> so we'll make one. So you'll now go to the contract terms. Contract terms we are not added in. <coughs> so you will not decide to quote no, the response. And then acknowledge is not required. We already invite, accepted the invitation. Acknowledgement also need not be done. And click on the create responses. Click on create responses. He's not going to create response. Number two is not going to create response. Go there. So I'm not putting anything. So we already seen that the reference number, note to buyer, the attachments, everything is visible on the 
naked means uh, login actually so that is okay we will not go there it is a tree actually <clears throat> the main one okay response valid at if you go there 18th is a closing date and then he cannot any day, put any date before 18th actually he has to say it has to be valid up to say let's say 21st but if it is a valid date you know going to go so it is valid so he is not giving response valid until so you don't click on next now you don't go to the requirements area in the requirements area the first one only we are automatically knocking up here it is we are not knocking it off and here also not going off there is a manual scoring which we may not off he may even for this particular question <clears throat> he may even like to attach something so we are now giving attachment also so this is how the requirements are written find that you have to write see about how they are all writing the requirements also. so go there go to the section 2 and then go to the technical one the technical one okay is your uh, support service available but i will not say yes now this is automatic one and then this is a manual one <clears throat> i will not say phone and then instant message right likewise it has got multiple choices so he has given it so he give a save as and when he produces what happens he give a save the requirements now that so click on next and the lines is going to go for for that so the previous supplier has now quoted 100 in 90 i don't know how to see this no fine uh, because uh, i have a feeling that it is a blind uh, uh, negotiation only in a open negotiation you can see the others one that is what i feel but if you know about how to see the sub ones uh, quote that will be excellent actually even though we are given uh, you can very well see but uh, i am unable to see now because it is a blind one i think blind and sealed i think you not see but if it is a open one we are going to do an auction today in the auction it will be open at the time what happens you can see this go there banana on industrial part uh, uh one supplier should not see the other one quotation maybe see that's the rule in purchasing okay okay generally. that's okay mm, but in auction uh, we normally open it up auction is an open one in auction you can very well see auction you can see auction you can see yeah here also if you can see it may be excellent actually from our perspective we would like to show it to others because we get a better quote actually so here also what am i going to put the same 85 now so that was 90 is 85 i'm going to come I will now select it and then click on edit now. After giving the price, I will now click on edit and then I may add the line attributes accordingly. Go down. So this is a wrong one. Fine, I should have been uh, proper actually. Uh, the target value must be ninety. So I'll always leave it blank. So here he has now given a fifteen and then he is now going to say let's say thirty dollars and then this is three dollars. Okay, fine. <clears throat> Maybe vendors may uh, farm syndicate syndicate and they may quote if he. Ah. You are able to see others' uh, quotes. Oh. I feel. I don't know. Yeah, available in the system, please inform others. No, fine. Right? If it is available, then inform others. So I also feel that uh, it's a uh, uh, company may not allow other other suppliers to see the other other suppliers' quote actually. Make it. Okay. That's okay. Go there. Click a two or three. Right? I'm now giving something because whatever is there, it is not coming as a list of value. If we can uh, bring it as a list of value, it will be great as far as item attributes are concerned. When that reboots on the next one, so it is not coming. So he has done this. Now I click on seven close. So close. So he has provided. So I am not going to put anything. Line level note to bear as well as header level note to bear are coming. That we have seen now. Header level note to bear and then line level note to bear are already seen now. I am going to click on save. It's all done now. Now he wants to add one more line now. He wants to add one more line. As whatever he is allowed to add one more line. I click on it. So you know say plus uh, because it is now coming from our uh, uh, main item actually. So his item is not available in the inventory. So you add it, and then you know say <coughs> hero Honda. Okay, other than link description, you know say hero Honda active. We have asked for Bajaj. So he is now quoting this also. Okay. So response quantity is again ten. Fine. Right? Uh, the response price we are giving now. Okay. So line price is now giving what? It is only eighty now. Saying eighty two or eighty. <coughs> and then this is fifteen. This is one. So he is now giving an alternate line also for us. For he is allowed to quote also. You know, put from two and three. So alternate line is going to be it. So click on seven close. So this is a Bajaj. Why not we go for Hero Honda also? This is basically an alternate line which he has given it. So there is the alternate. So he is now giving quote all three. Fine. So since uh, it is not an inventory item, he is now giving a description based item actually. So click on seven. We'll go to the next one. Fine. We're going to preview it and click on next. We'll now preview it. So the review. Fine. We'll click on it. So you can even review on everything. Fine. All reviews, lines, and requirements. He himself can review. Yeah, he is quoting the same item for with different specification. No, this is a Bajaj scooter. 
he is now holding uh, he is a distributor actually he is now quoting quoting for hero honda uh, cycle yeah, yeah item is yeah. kind of same but specification are different means like uh, hero honda so he don't have the specification mentioned anywhere only description of the only one which is giving the specific uh, maybe company name i'm saying this nana like hero honda uh, and uh, bajaj oh, like that the standard engine printer where you are seeing the specification of the engine printer nothing is there no? you don't he can't see no. It's a substitute item of line one. Maybe it's a substitute item for line one, but he is now giving a code. He now you design. That's what he said. It is a substitute item for line one. That's very correct. It is substitute or maybe add-ons or whatever it is. In substitute, it doesn't say it is add-on. It says only what as an alternate line. Yeah, alternate line is basically substitute line one. Is this feature available in EBS, na na? I forgot about it. I did the EBS some ten years before. No? Yeah, <laughs> not remembering it. Actually, yeah. I do everything on EBS, but ten uh, to twelve years back, I did it. Not remembering it. Okay. Nana, no, no, uh, it may happen that uh, you know, uh, in the second line, uh, the uh, supplier may say, "You take this item free." Oh no! In that case, you have to give a price of zero. Actually. The price will be line price will be zero. You will not quote and then give a line price of zero. Right? Okay. So that you see in the field actually, line price will be zero. So click on submit. His response is now getting submitted. Thank you, Mr. Submit. He is now submitting his response after reviewing everything. Is he able to add additional items then? Is it as alternate items? Alternate line is basically an additional line. It may be a substitute line, whatever it is. No matter. So you call whatever it name. So he has now given a quote for one more item also. I will not say substitute. Uh, this is a response number. So now keep the response. Now the third supplier is now going to give a surrogate response. He is now in uh, uh, London and undergoing a uh, meeting actually. So the supply, the neg admin is now calling him on a four actually. So this is not done. So once when the supplier is now given a negotiation, thank you for that. Then come out of it. So you will not be able to see the active negotiation only. If you go there, if you go to the view active negotiations, it will not be visible at all because he cannot quote anything at all. Because such, and then if you say response submitted is yes, no, you know, see whether it allows or not. Yeah, it's allowing it. Okay. Response submitted yes is not allowing it. If you response submitted, what happens? It's not allowing it in your. I thought that it's not possible. So it's possible. So if the response submitted is yes, it's allowing you to view it. <clears throat> so again, please uh, mute your mics. Okay. Now the third supplier is now in London, and then he is now giving a telephonic call. So this is now going to. I'm now muting all. So whenever you are not speaking, please mute it, and then when you speak, you open up your mic and speak. Otherwise, it will be disturbing for others. So the, for the third supplier, this guy is now going to give a quote. He is now giving a telephonic quote. So he is now going to make what? A surrogate response in the absence of the supplier. And go that. You know, go to the manage, and then you create surrogate response for the third supplier. So actions manage, and then create surrogate response for the third supplier. You know, going really. So go there. Supplier is what? You know, put it now. Supply contract. So you know, create. You can even register him uh, and then uh, add the quote also. So you can quote. Go down and then put the contract and then click on create. So you know, going to create now. <clears throat> so he is getting a surrogate response on behalf of the supplier. Actually, you will now put this number. Find the number. Everything you will now put over here. Uh, reference number sub three. You know, say note to buyer. Again, sub three note to buyer. Header sub three header. Header note to buyer. So they'll open everything. And then it is again in line. It will not get the next note. So response received on when when you receive the response. So we had mentioned it. So I received it today. And then what is the made of mode of method? Like email or fax or whatever else. So you had mentioned it. Others means others. So we have received the response from the supplier as a email lecture. Money you are asking for it, na? Huh? Money is there? Money can done. So this is basically a surrogate response. <clears throat> so click on it, and then we'll go to the requirements. So click on next. The one, then I come. He is again give fifty over here. Not, not here. Only US. 
and then the technical spec and what technical specifications you know, you know. the first one is automatic and then here it is a manual one give us say the surrogate response is not getting said so go to the next you go to the line page sir you haven't selected the first one there also okay, okay okay that is automatic no and in the requirements area in the technical one i am sorry <clears throat> that is not this is a automatic uh, but that looks like mandatory and it allowed to go to next screen <laughs> It's a good question. Now, it's a mandatory one. How did it allow? Maybe while submitting it, it will ask. I think. Okay. Like, submitting it, it may ask. I'm not sure about it. Make a check of it. And you make you develop the error and then see whether while submitting it is allowing or not. Okay. So both the technical and the financial requirements have been printed on. So this guy is now going to port. Let us say uh, 80 now, and then he's also 80, and he becomes the best supplier. Actually. Anna, this is the supplier, na. This is a supplier, of course. He is not making a surrogate response from the NIC admin's login. He is now creating a surrogate response. So that's that's the same I'm asking because he is from NIC. Why he is logging from D zero one NIC admin means he should yeah, be. He is now creating a uh, surrogate response now because the supplier sub three is now attending a conference in UK. He is unable to touch the system at all. So over telephone or over email, he has given all this information. Oh, okay, Nana. Okay, you tell that. You already have a response on behalf of sub three actually. Fine, yeah, we are logged in on day zero one, day zero one, AP one. Let me make it up. Select that name. I am going to edit. <coughs> Keep on edit. To create a surrogate response, do we need extra roles, sir, or with the existing role? The uh, existing roles of what happens? You are uh, sourcing collaborator plus uh, your contract administrator is sufficient. Actually, you don't need any extra roles for surrogate response. And I think so. You know, say cooking, and then also one. He becomes the cheapest actually. He becomes the best actually. So click on save and close. And then you are now given the requirements part and the lines part you have completed. And go repeat on next. And then we will now review. And then he is now submitting the surrogate response on behalf of the supplier. So click on submit. He has now submitted. <clears throat> so we will now down the response number. The response is submitted. So D zero one itself is now creating it. <clears throat> the response number is not true. <clears throat> I thought that we done. So here you can see the response actually. So what is it? Uh, blue color. Right. A new response. A new response. So six eight one three four may be the new response. With the sub three. Six eight one three four. So the response is a bit different. So you get the three responses. So everything is available. So now what happens? You will now go on the do the comparison. Response by supplier is not saying. So what is the thing? So it shows you uh, what happens. Uh, response amount, the total amount. Fine. Sub three is the latest one. Right? Sub two, and then sub three is more than one k. And then sub three is the latest. If you go there, click on. I have no say negotiation summary. If you want to have a look at it, so we can now see the negotiation summary. Fine. This shows everything. <clears throat> fine. One hundred. And then uh, potential savings uh, with the third supply is one ninety five. So under the one seventeen percent savings is available. Right. And then uh, we will now see the savings by supplier. <clears throat> it will show you. On a graphical format, how much is the savings? Sub three is the maximum savings actually. Then go down. And then response by time. You can even say when when law is responded. So one is what yesterday, and then the remaining two are today. Actually. So he's not showing you when when they responded. So we can even compare something here. Okay, I will now say uh, response by supplier. <clears throat> this one, and then here I will now say savings by supplier. So two graphs we can simultaneously plot and then make a comparison. So there are two things on the analysis. So there are new ones now. So, Nana, by any chance, have you logged in with uh, Supplier Three? No, I am not logged in. No, I am not. Okay. Only surrogate response. Yeah, it is a surrogate. It is a surrogate response. Because, because it it is here in online status, it is showing. That's why I asked. It is not showing. It is not showing any online status. Online status is not showing for Sub Three. Oh God, it is not showing online status. <laughs> I am not logged in at all. Yeah, I don't know. It is a surrogate response. Else, you showed one more graph of date. On which date he is wanted? Yeah, yeah. show one. Response again. by time. So yesterday we received uh, what's called sub one's response. There is a blue one. The green and yellow are here. So it shows you who is the sub one. Sub one is blue. Sub two is green, and then sub three is yellow. So it shows you the response by time. So we can see this. Now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I will now uh, do start activities on stuff. I'm working on next. I will now go to manage. Not manage. Uh, I will not. Uh, 
Uh, good analyze. Analyze is also okay. Uh, monitor. Uh, wait, now click on that. Come on. Up. We'll come to the main line. We'll come to the main line. So we'll come to the main line. So here, what happens? You go to the monitor. In the main line, you can monitor. monitor click on what happens? Monitor negotiation cell. So here, we can monitor it. So this is a place where the generic area we can monitor right, with the different graphs. So you have not done it. Fine, go there. You know, go to the next section. You know, go to the manager. Now, click on the manage. So in this manage, manage, manage. What happens? We don't have much of activity. Uh, okay, we had it done and then come out of it. And then done. come out of it. And then here you go to the monitor. There's only this much. Now, you go to the manager. So he's got so many activities to do on the main line. <clears throat> so what you will do is. Uh, we will now see the collaboration team can be managed, managed scoring can be done, project task, manage requirements can be even appended, uh, the reassign the owners, invite additional suppliers, create amendment, we are going to do it now. So let us now first of all pass this now, right? click on, you know going to pass step already, so click on pass. So once when it is fine, it is passed, you know passing it. So what, during passing you cannot uh, make any, any, any response at all, right? click on it. So this pass will be communicated to all the suppliers. All invited participant suppliers will be notified by email also. If email is going properly, it will be email also. So it is now passed. Now, since it is not there, on the bell icon, you can see. We'll go there, go to this place. On the bell icon, you can see there is no pass. So you can now see. No notification in this place coming. So we have to give it done. Okay? You have to wait for some time. You know, see, the pass is available on the info letter now. Thank you, Mantano. And then the Anantar too. What, what are you pausing? The, the entire negotiation is passed. When you pass it, nobody can give a response or no activity can be done on the on the particular negotiation actually. Right. But so they, it, they have already given response. Yeah, right, of course. Let's say let, you are now given to 10 supplies out of which seven have responded. At the time you pass, the remaining three cannot give a response at all. You can pass it anytime. So click on it, you got a requiring or attention a message, an infinite message is effective on you know, however. Negotiation was passed is the message. And at what time? I click on that. So all the uh, what happens? Uh, suppliers will be getting this information. I click on the home page, and then we have viewed it now. And then we will now see whether it goes away. Click on again on supplier portal. It's still there. So there's a message there. Now <clears throat> he has decided to resume now. He will not go there. He will not perform a resume. Click on the link. He will not perform a resume. So you know, open up again. When you can see a pass. A symbol is also coming along with the negotiation on the D01 login. So click on it. He's not going to resume it. He's not going to perform a resume. Go there. So he will now go to actions and then go to uh, manage and then he will now resume. He will now resume it. He will now say it is resume. So uh, is a neck admin. <clears throat> Neg admin is now giving you a fine click on it. It will be again communicated to everybody. So if you go there, there also they can see on this place. Want to go to the manage uh, negotiations? Not another. Come on, it. Now go to the what's called uh, where is the negotiation? The negotiation. View active negotiations. You can see. You can also see there uh, the number is coming. And click on S now. You click on search. Now. That pass symbol will be there. Now it is resumed actually. And then you got a notification of fine click on it. Now see what the notification. So the past notification also came now, and we'll not dismiss it. And then the resume notification also came. Then both of them are gone together, actually. So, so you can now see both of these. The notification. So notification is come So click on home now. We'll now see on the infolet whether he is having this message or the infolet. Now see, there are two messages. First, there was only one previously. Now the second message also. So it, what happens? It has passed and then it has resumed again. And that is the message the order you have passed from. So click on that now. So you have now got it. We have done these two activities. Now, what he is going to do, we will now go there, click on the manage. Now he is going to extend the time actually. So he's going to extend time. Click on extend. You will now extend the time. So you'll now say new close date is not 18th, it will be 21st. It will be 21st. So you can even quote up to this. So some people might not have quoted. So we are waiting for it and then click on submit now. So he's extending the negotiation to the other date. Negotiation is extended. So you will now see on the second one on the find the one. So it's not done. So we'll now go to the second one. So he has to get a notification. Right? It is now extended. So it was extended. It's come. So we'll not dismiss it. So resume this dismissed. This also is dismissed. So go there. So click on it. And then now again click on the home and then see it has to be a third, three, third message. Now click on supply portal. You have to have a third which requires your attention. No, it's not coming. Click on it. 
So pass and resume the scum, maybe it will not take some time. So extension. So he has given extension. Now he says that I, I need more quantities. Now the requesting department has told him that so it is not said 10 now, I want 15 quantities. Now he has got the amend now. He's got amend. So the moment he amends it, all the responses will now become invalid. All the responses will become invalid. Once we make an amendment. So if you go to the, go to the monitor negotiation, go to the monitor negotiation, you will now see there are three responses that are available here. The moment the supplier, what happens, uh, makes an amendment, every response will now become invalid because they have to give a new quote. So the new quote has to be given. All these things will now become invalid. Go that to so go to the actions and then you go to the manage and then he is going to what? Amend the notification. <clears throat> not here. You have to give it done and then come out of it in the main drain, right? no, not in this side. So please on that. Come to the main uh, main area. In the main area, go to the actions and then go to manage. He is going to amend now. Fine, create amendment. Fine, click on create amendment. He is not going to do it. Fine, click on create amendment. <clears throat> we'll be doing it. He'll be amending the, uh, the, uh, the thing. So this is a cover page on this. No, fine. Cover page, he is not doing anything. Again, he has to go through all the things. Whatever, wherever he wants to make a change, he has to change. Right? Click on next now. It is almost like creating a new negotiation. Right? So amendment description, fine. Amend one <clears throat> by negative. So, Nana, sir, uh, in the... In the wordings, edit negotiations D01. Yeah. Oh, also can be changed. If you want, you can even change the title. Whatever you want to change, you can very well change it while you are getting an amendment. Actually. Got it? So, approval amount, otherwise, what happens there? there? If you make a change, this does not have any uh, significance. Also. You can even insert the notification on this one, notification, and then you can even make it. new close date. I'm going to give it now. It's not, I will not make a change on new close date. That is the 30th. And remember, many of them have given a validity till some some days so before 30th, and they will all become invalid. Right? So 30th is a new close date. So whenever a supplier gives a validity, he, it has to be beyond 30th actually. You are not given a new close date. So that if you want to make any changes, you can do it on this page now. So and the all you. So if it's a... what is it? I'm unable to hear you properly. The voice is breaking. If up. any supplier, uh, if any. Oh, you have forgotten the question. No, fine. Okay, fine. You again no, 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 no. If any supplier, uh, oh god, your voice is had furnished beyond me. 30th, yeah, yeah, beyond 30th, that will be valid. And don't okay. give the validity before 30th, it will not be valid at all. He has to okay. resubmit it, it. It's same like yesterday you told for 18th, yeah, yesterday it was 18th. Now the new date is 30th. Now, everybody has to change the date sector. And everybody has to give a new quote also. New response has been In the new response, I'm not going to copy. I'll not show you. The terms, if you want to have, you can even make a change in the terms when he's amending it. And anything can be amended. <clears throat> Click on next one. And normally, they will be mentioning it in the amendment description what they have changed. Otherwise, everybody has to go to all things. No? In the line only, he has made an amendment. So he will now mention on the headlines itself. So instead of 10, he will now go 15 one days. And if you go to the overview area, you go to the overview area, he will now say amended, uh, he will now say amended uh, uh, line quantity 10 to 15. So that is the highlight point. So once when you give it, everybody will understand about what exactly this amendment is for. That he can ask. So go there, go to the lines region. <coughs> You give an amendment over there. So click on next. You go there, go to the next on there. What happens? The contract comes, you are not doing anything. Click on next now. Suppliers are same now. So you will not save and then he will not publish. So 31806 is no more valid. 31806, comma one is a new one. The new one is what? 31806, comma one. You will not publish it. It will be communicated to all the suppliers. So once you publish it, 31806 is no more valid actually. It will now come as amended. It's like a older revision. Right? In a purchase order, older revisions cannot be used actually. If you click on that, no point. So that it is now published. If you go on and make a search, you cannot see that it was, it was active actually. Fine, 31806 was active. So it's still active, but approval is in process. Fine, we had to give, we'll go for the approval actually. So we are given what? Calvin Roth as the approver, isn't it? We go to space. We will now we go to Mozilla. And then we will not get it up. So Calvin Roth is going to approve. Calvin Roth. 
You will not take the password for your mom. Take the password. So you'll be given a notification and then yes to I must say remember password. So that you would have got a notification here itself. From there itself, we can approve. So negotiation 31826.1 was submitted for approval. So let us not click on approve direct. You know what? Otherwise, you have to go via notification and approve. Bell icon itself are doing it. So all otherwise, what you do, you go there. You'll be having a worklist over here. This place. You go there. Tools worklist is the one. Or tools approvals. Somewhere it will be shown as approval, somewhere it is now shown as approvals. Otherwise, it will be shown as approval work list. And tools approvals, we go there. And then there, from there, we are going to approve it. Don't show it over here. That. So basically, uh, it's like creating a new request. Uh, almost like a new one only. When you are creating a PO revision, it is almost like what happens here. You can revise everything. Whatever you want, you can revise. So it is also safety. It is not exactly coming fine. Well. So let me go via the uh, normal icon and then do it. Now, right? So I'm going to go back now. So it's not exactly showing you. Otherwise, it will take some time. So through this itself, we will not approve. And through the tools work list, also we can approve. And click on approve. So by which the approval is now completed. So go there. So click on it. And then that's it. The approval is completed. Now we go there. And then in this place, you can now see that it will become communicated. So in the main one, what I'm saying, now saying approval in process is now coming and expand it. It will be active. So if you expand and make a search, it will be active. It is now amended. The thing has got amended. So this one, uh, rather, uh, this uh, 31806 is no more valid at all. This is only active. So since it is amended, it is a older revision active. And, uh, so, uh, so now 31806.1 will be communicated to all the suppliers. He got a notification. Fine. Sub2 has got a notification. Thank you for that. So, Agosi amendment one for negotiation requires your attention, actually. So, click on it and then have a look at it. So, he will now see the amendment. Right? Amendment line quality has been changed from so on. So, there is the amendment description is also coming. You will now see and then you will now say dismiss it. Uh, you will now come back to the home icon. Now. Click on the home icon. And then you go to the supply portal. Go there. And then here, you got three things. Fine. So the green one says what uh, uh, is what's called negotiate. There are two negotiation messages, and the blue one is what negotiation responses. So uh, re responses here, and then uh, negotiation messages are two, and then uh, the one. If you click on the negotiation messages, fine, go there. So uh, past and resuming is fine. If you click on it, it has to go away. No, I have already been in orders. <clears throat> so click on the one. So I should have seen this extra line actually. Fine. I have not. Uh, Seen the extra line on the one before going over there now. I've not seen the extra line. Have you seen the line? Extra line being coming in the. Uh, no, no, it was not there. No. Uh, it was not there. Yeah. Well, now we'll do it. Now. We'll, now, we'll now have a look at it. Now, this time we'll know how. So click on it. So click on the one. It was not there. So, so those two things, as and when you see it, they go away. Right? This is the only thing which is required. So click on the required attention. We'll not coming. Click on it. And then here. Let us not give it done. So once you give it done, it will be going away from the requisition area. That's a good way. It was going off previously. So now you will now see, go to the manage active requisitions. Go there. Go there. You, man, you, or it's called, you will now go to the negotiations now. Right? You active negotiations. You know how it And go there. Click on yes now. And click on search. You will now see only 31806 is coming. Oh, it came now. Right? Oh, he has not responded actually. He has not responded. As I give it no one, then see. Not he, he, he has to acknowledge it. Without acknowledging it, he cannot do a uh, response at all. Here is a must action. Whenever an amendment is made, acknowledgement is mandatory. Actually. Otherwise, it's optional. We will not try to create a response. We will not try to create a response. It will not allow you at all. So, copy from an existing one. Fine. We have one over there. You will not Even for surrogate response, we need acknowledgement. Of course. We need it. I can't I'll show you that you are not acknowledged. Say, warning. So, you must acknowledge an amendment to negotiate before responding. Do you want to continue? We'll not see without, uh, it's now giving you only a warning. I'm not sure about whether the warning will allow you or not. So click on yes, no, fine. So it's now giving you yes, no, fine. Uh, with allowance, it's okay. <clears throat> it now says the amendment need to be acknowledged because you have seen that amendment. That is what it says. So it is allowing you. So it is only a warning message. So click on yes, 
like this place what I'm going to go there. So he will now make a change on these things. <clears throat> the cover page is there, overview is there. So you will now see, he has already copied the one, previous one he has copied. And the quantity has now become 15 only. So the attachment is there. Whatever he has made as the previous one, thank you for the attachment. He must have made some attachments. Sub two. So attach one is there. Is all coming so everything is there on the lines. There. So since it is a copied one, and then there, there is a date conflict on this number. So it will not show you because it has to be beyond 30th actually. The schedule is there. So preview date, open date, close date. The close date is what? Now, uh, so on this one, it is a 30th actually. The, the older one is the newer one. The 30th is the new date. So all these things are coming. Now. So go there. So he has to acknowledge. I have reviewed, reviewed the changes. And I acknowledge the amendment. He is not putting a tick mark. You will not see what happens. He is not acknowledging it. So the same prices, everything is valid for him now. So the line level, uh, the line level summary is showing from the, <clears throat> the 100. This is start price. But uh, where is his, uh, his price actually? That is not there at all. How come we can make a change here? Yeah. I don't understand. He's only giving a summary. But uh, the line level attributes and other things are not coming at all. Because you have copied only. And you have copied. And then the title is so and so. Let us not try to submit. We will not see any error is coming out. He has not acknowledged it. And then uh, he has not done the extension of the data. Why not submit? We will not see. Uh, the original also can be viewed now. So, uh, zero, uh, zero of one amendments are acknowledged. Nothing is acknowledged. Actually. So, to create a response, you must acknowledge an amendment. Do you want to continue? Click on yes, no. no so, it comes over to this page only. So, that means what? That is not a warning. It is a must. Actually. He says yes. He is acknowledging it. So, we will now give a submit. Click on submit. We will now see whether that the date is settled. The amendment to negotiate was acknowledged. You can new create a response. Do you want to continue? Fine. Now only we are creating a response. Actually. Now only we are going to create a response. So it is only a own view of this. The response is now getting created now only. So it is now coming. So response valid. It is no more valid because up to 30th, it is not being closed. So we have copied it. So the original one is coming. So we will now click on next now. We'll now see it, it has to throw an error here. Click on next now. It has to see it is now throwing an error. So the date must be on or after 30th. And because the close date is 30th. So we, previously we gave 20th as a validity date because it was 18th as a close date. Now it is no more valid. No more that for it. We are not doing it. <coughs> September, I will not make it in September. I will not say 7th. So the purchase, NEG admin has to make a purchase order before 7th. Otherwise, again, it will become invalid actually. We will have to ask him a new fresh date actually. So we will click on next one. And then we go to the lines with the requirements. Requirements is no uh, the original one has been copied, so everything has been written. If you want to make a change, you can make a change. I click on next one. And then go to the lines region. <coughs> lines region is okay. Fine. The new line price is going to get right? you will now say let's say 80 is a new price. 80 is the price. So you know giving it. And then select and then click on edit, and then you will now edit the line details actually in this place. Go there. So here everything is coming. And it's 15. There's one. Go there. There's one. And then two. So they're all uh, the line attributes given. He has not given everything. This I'm not doing it. Fine. Save and close. Maybe she has not completed the line level now. And then now he can very well submit. So you can submit. So click on submit now. He is now submitting his next response actually. Sub two is now submitting his next response. It is six eight one three seven is the number. Go there. Sub two is what? <coughs> Go there. So click on it. Six eight <coughs> one three seven. <coughs> So he has no committed number. So response has been submitted. If you go back to the C's, you'll find that all the three ones will be vanishing on some. Only one response will be available. No, that's not. Neg admin is now looking at it. So you can see only one response. What are the actions? And then go to monitor and then monitor negotiation. You'll now see only one response. There's only one response. The remaining all all gone. Right? No response. Because it's an amended one. It is on uh, 3806.1. You will not create a sur surrogate response for what this one. You will not go there. You will not go to manage. And then you will not create a surrogate response for the third supplier. Supplier is what? Sub three. And then the contact is what? Go down. Is the mandatory field? You have to put it now. The contact is the mandatory field. Keep on create. Revise or copy an existing response. Right? You will not copy an existing response. And this way you can do it. So response number, I will not choose it. Not right? So I will not revise. Click on create a call. I am not going to revise it. Actually. Keep on create. Then the revise, we will not see whether the number is maintained or not. Otherwise, copy means what a new number will be coming. 68134, we will not see. You must acknowledge all amendments. Okay, morning message is coming. Get out now. Otherwise, it will not even allow. Acknowledgement is a must for amendment, actually. 
So one three four will be retained amount. You know, I will get acknowledgement date. I am going to give it. I will not say I am acknowledging it on fifth. <coughs> Method of acknowledgement is by email. That's it. So you then it and then click on submit by which whatever they will know go to the response page actually. So once when it is amended and then he has seen all the overviews of it now, right? all the overviews and then give a submit. Then only it will now create a response. Click on submit. Now it's not done. To create a response, you must have, uh, you must acknowledge the amendments. Do you want to continue with it? No, we already acknowledged it, so we'll now see whether it goes on. Fine. Okay, you're not going to tick mark here. You're not going to tick mark. And tick mark, and then acknowledgement date. I'm not going to tick mark. That's why it's not done. So go to the email. So let us now submit again. Now, <clears throat> so click on submit again. Now it'll now go to the response creation screen actually. So you can continue. Fine. Click on this now. It has to go to the response creation from this screen of acknowledgement. You know, now go on there. So here, uh, uh, what happened? We can come, okay, it's again a tree actually. The overview is there, you know, the requirements. Okay, what is the thing? Example format, response received on what? I will not say fifth on this, I received it via email now. So what is the next now? We are now creating a response now, create a response. So it is a new response only, 68134 was, uh, we want to make a change, but it is a new response only. It's copied, but it is a new response actually. So you're not putting it, but the, all the existing values are now already copied now. The technical ones, all the existing ones are copied from the old one. Click on next one. All the lines you know. And then he has to go to the give code for the file. And the code is not coming. So you will not say 75. The third supplier is not giving 75. And then select it and then click on it. He will now put the line level attributes also, along with the cost factors. So cost factors also we are adding it. You don't know. If you don't add it, that means what you are the transportation and storage are free. That is what it means. When you want, when you are doing it. What is place? And then click on save and close. You are now given the line level response. So go there. And then uh, second one was with the additional line, remember my, that I have not seen it properly. Uh, we'll go and see. Click on next. So we are going to review and then he's going to submit it. Right? Six eight four one zero one four zero is a new response. Actually. You have gone very fast. I just want to ask one question. Yeah. Uh, while acknowledging and copying. What are the things have been changed because lines you and cost factor you entered no, it's copied except the line price. Line price has to be given new. Otherwise, everything else will be copied. Right? You're not doing it. Line price has to be given new. Apart from that, the remaining are all copied. Let's go there. And go there. So it is not done now. If I click on done and then come out of it. You'll now see the responses two and three now. I click on the and then go to the actions and then what happens? Uh, you are not saved. Thank you, Tony. Go to space. And then go to the monitor and then go to the monitor negotiation. We will now see the supply tools response actually. Sub tools response. It, has, it was having three lines because you have copied. No, I don't know how to put it. It must be having three lines. Hero Honda active, it has been left. Go to lines. Line levels you can see. So it is basically uh, the AMC promoter. The new line is not coming at all. So when you're amending it, the new line goes away. So for the first supplier, we'll now go on and see, and then we'll now try to add a line actually and then see whether it comes over here. So click on it. When you're amending it, uh, the new line creation, the alternate line or whatever it is, is not coming over here. Now what I do is I will now go to the first supplier. I have the second supplier. So the third and second and third are come back and then now come out of it and then log on and log in for the third supplier. Let them now log on and log in. Find out and then sign in. <coughs> So click on confirm. <coughs> what is it? Uh, we are going to go for the first supply. A1, N1. <coughs> Let me first supply will not log in. We'll not try to add a line again. You we'll know, see how it works. So he has got a thing of and so this is the one on the main area. Fine. Click on this. No, this is not the one actually. Fine. The amended one has to come up. Fine. So we'll now see the uh, what's called neg and then do it now. So, so negotiations, view active negotiations. I'm going to have a look at it. I go that response submitted is no, is no coming from the orders. Yeah, it's a comma one, not a dot one actually. It's coming as a comma one. I know that. So you will now first acknowledge the fact. You will now acknowledge the participation. You will now say <coughs> this message. I don't. I am unable to see the rest. of Everything I'm able to see. But this acknowledgement message, if you are able to see, please uh, tell me about where exactly you're seeing it. The other ones are uh, available in the Neg Admins area. So click on uh, the done one. Uh, Nala, that 
that message uh, you'll be able to see on that uh, yes uh, is uh, acknowledgement once we acknowledge that that is the screen of i am in the neg admin now and go that so i'll now open up this neg supply as acknowledgement that you can see go to the actions and then go to monitor uh, no 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 go to suppliers go to suppliers one manage supplier activities no the left one no, no. Uh, the table of contents here it is only showing with the suppliers who are participating uh if you click on that yes na uh, acknowledgement oh ho oh, oh, will participate okay okay fine we'll uh -huh. okay here we can see this person yeah. okay okay he is not giving you but the message is not coming it's only a note to buyer you know see other ones whether he has given any message or not the last one is sub one now he is given a message actually you know see sub one if we are the best okay man yeah the latest message is coming here yes sir Never got it. Okay, good. So this place we can very well uh, will participate, and then that's coming over there. And good, good, good. Who is this? What is your name? This Abhay Abhay Thakur. Abhay Thakur. He might be working yeah. on it. I think probably he is able to understand and then tell us. Good, good. Abhay Thakur. <laughs> yeah. He is already working on it, so he is able to tell us about where we can see this. Good. So click on it. Open up. Go there, and then you go to the actions, and then here what happens? Go to monitor, and then go to the monitor negotiation. The second guy has now uh, give, given a three line, and then he has uh, given what uh, as a copy. You now, why it is not coming away? In this place, if you give the second line on the response, that uh, added line is not visible at all. The line is he has added. It. He has only copied the previous one. Now, fine. He has only copied the one. And so, why that line is not coming away? <clears throat> we couldn't understand this. The whole line is there. Only two lines. Even, even I'll have to look. Maybe you added for sub one. It seems sub one. I added. Oh ho oh, oh. ho. I think so. Uh -huh. No, see this one. Not sub two. Okay, okay. Sub one. Sub one is it to respond actually? It to respond. Yeah. So we will now copy and then do it. Okay, okay. We will now copy and do it. So good actions and then we'll now good response and then create a response. Okay, yeah, correct. Sub one has given a response and copy from existing one. Yeah, yeah, correct. And then do it. Okay. Click on create. Sub one has given. So you now responding to you want to continue. Okay. So it is a reality. Or who did that? So click on yes. And again, put a tick mark and then click on submit. Then only it will go for a creation of a response. Okay, click on submit. Click on submit. So we are doing it. Okay, click on submit. Go there. And then we'll so everything is now coming. You know. So is a train has come up. Go to the requirements. And then he has already responded to the one. Let's say date is invalid. Okay. So because we are going to do that now, when he already gave a date on what the future one. And go to October. And then give a date for someone. Okay. So click on what are going to the requirements. The overview page is now completed. Now here uh, he has given uh, is going to be negative. Uh, what happens? Uh, the original one I am keeping it. I wanted to get it knocked off automatically. One has to get knocked off automatically. So lines region he is now giving what? Let us say he is now giving a price of seventy. Seventy is going to be there. So I will now give it a sixty. Now he becomes the cheapest, but he will be getting knocked off. He will become the cheapest. Model. So that's it. I now select it and then click on Edit now. Go there, click on it. So here again, I am now giving fifty. I am giving one, one, one. But when I copied it and then do it, what happens? I am not able to see the additional line. So we will now add a line. Now add a line. Go there. I will now say Hero Honda. Two, two, two. Find some message. Find the response quantity is again fifteen now. So go there. And then this thing they are doing. Line price is going to give it a what? Uh, we are not giving any price now. Find sixty. I am going to give it now. So, oh, this is a new the additional line actually. So you don't say fifteen. And then the additional line we are not giving it. Sixty is the price. Okay, one second close now. So you must have uh, you must have entered a response value for the uh, required attributes in group warranty for line. What is it? I have not given. Oh, warranty! I have not entered. So this I have not entered. So, so what is the significance of this response value? Please say that again. What is it? The response value means what? What exactly you are saying? Ask yes, me. this one. So he has given a lot of yes. line level attributes. He has to respond it because the mandatory field. See, <coughs> the nineteen twenty resolution, and then this is a warranty. <coughs> okay, <coughs> it's a mandatory field. Yes, sir. <coughs> That is why it gave error. You want to simulate the error again? 
Ok, you have seen it now. It's on seven course. Actually, instead of one, you should give 1920 cross for re resolution something. You can. Yeah, exactly, yeah. The resolution does make, but it is accepting any value. Actually. That is the problem. Uh, yeah, yeah. <coughs> the alternate line description is over 920. Yeah. So line is now given. Fine, you know what is submitted. Is a is a, is a sub one and a sub one now. Click on submit. You know what is submitted. So six eight one four three is also. Six eight one four three is a new code. So you got three responses, new responses. So 143, 147, 140 are the three responses. 131, 140, and 141. So it's not done. So click on done now. <clears throat> so click on done. Fine. It is now completed. Okay. <coughs> now come to the main area. Go there. So click on done. <coughs> Let me re-query. <coughs> It is not required, but it is getting automatically updated. Actually. <coughs> but anyway, I'm not doing anything. So go to the actions and I'm going to monitor them for the monitor negotiation. If you go to this one, fine. Sub one has given a three lines of it. You can now see the three lines over there. Response one in the lines area. There must be three lines, now, including an alternate. Yes, so all these things we got it now. So uh, it doesn't contribute to the active responses, you see. The alternate line is coming, but it is not contributing to the active responses. You now see what else you can do on the main area. Go to the actions and then go to the management. So he can know what happens there. Manage the collaboration team. This is going to be okay. So everything is almost done. Now, right? pre assigning overall simple things. You can even do all these things. That's all. Now, what he's going to do, he's going to close now. Right? He's going to close that. He's going to pre close actually. So click on done now and come out of it. You're not going to pre-close it. What are the actions now? So in this manage area, so, so many things have been seen now. You can even cancel the negotiation. Pass it, you can see now. Extra we have seen, fine, we are not going to close it. So the remain, remain area, all other things are basically okay. That you can make R and D. So he's not going to pre-close now. Click on close. He's not pre-closing it. Fine. <clears throat> fine. Uh, RFQ. Eight. Uh, 106.1 is closed. You must say thanks for participating. And then click on submit. This, this closure message will be communicated to all the suppliers. Click on submit. So which one is accepted now? Mean? Which court is accepted? Which response is accepted? How to do no, that? Closing only we had accepted. Right? After uh -huh. closing, you have to analyze and accept. Okay. So, okay. Things are received, we are now closing it now. Now we have to analyze it. We have to analyze it. Click on down. I will now close. So if you go to this place, you will not get a message. So click on it. <clears throat> now say negotiation was closed and a message has come. No more, uh, what happens? You cannot give any quote at all. So, this so go there. We will not dismiss this message. Fine. Just close. Thanks for participating in the message. Now click on dismiss. No close. You have done everything. And then if he makes a query, find someone to go there, go to the query, it will not be available. Negotiations, view active negotiations, nothing is active. Right? Response submitted is yes, no. And then if you can search now, find there will be nothing active. But he can see his response now. Right? So he is unable to see any active negotiations here. But what he can do is he can very well uh, uh, look at his response actually, whatever he has given the response. And go to the view, manage responses. If you click on the manage responses, he can now see the response. He will not say, there is no pending award. If you go to active, it will not show anything at all. But it is no pending award. Pending award is no good. On that, manage responses. His response is pending an award. That is not showing. It is pending an award. And go to the lines region and all these. Sales is pending an award. That you can see. Now, he is now going to call the scorers actually. And then score the requirements. The requirement scoring is a very important activity. You will not go there. You will not call the score as well. Thank you for that. You will come to the main screen. So I will again search on this and then I will not re-query on it. He is not going to call the score as the score the responses. Score means collaboration team. Collaboration team, exactly. You will not go to the manage. And then he will know what happens. The manage scoring. He will know what happens. He is going to manage, open the scoring or manage scoring. Click on the manage scoring. The manage scoring. Uh, okay, he has to open the scoring. 
Let's go open the square. Right. We'll, the manager. we'll now open the square. Scoring will be open now. Fine, let him open it up. If you open scoring, you won't be able to change the scoring team assigned to this company. And if you open the scoring, you won't be able to add new additional internal requirements when that's not possible. That's what when everything is free, it's no more internal addition of any requirements is possible. Because requirements is the, is a, is the heart of a neg actually. No, let's make it not fine. They're opening the scoring now. Now, once when you open it up, the scoring is open for negotiation. Now, we will communicate to all the negotiators that you have to go on the score. So, after having done this, you know, give it done again. He's now open now. So, he'll now open it up. He's now going to the main screen itself. He's now going to take an action. He will now send an email to all, all the scorers actually. Go to the manage, and then what happens? The manage scoring. He'll now go to the manage scoring. So you can even close the scoring also. Click on minus scoring. <coughs> send message. Right? Click on send message. It's no open actually. Right? You will now say scoring is open. You will now write this now. So you now open up. You will now write this and then click on send. Right? You will now send it to you. the internal. Right? All members. You click on all members. But they are not coming. I will now put enable also. All members, I'm putting it on to all. So all the scorers we are now enabled now. And then click on send now. So email will be sent to all the scorers actually. So it is not done. Now we are logged in as what in this place. In this one, we are now logged in as Calvin Roth. Now. So he will get a message here. I click on he will not get a message here. So online messaging for negotiation was received actually. Online message for negotiation is received and opened up. What is this? Online message has been received. You don't know how to put it now. Our God. Why it's not visible now? So, uh, yeah, online message was received. If I click on it, that's to show me, nah? ah, done. It's only for FOA information, actually. So, that is why we are unable to find. So, is not something like that. Ah, I don't understand. Is show it? all, Nana. Go to show all. Which one? Show all. Show all means it will not show everything. Message is coming. Uh, if you click on it, it gets vanished now. Basically. Uh, all, all, again, all, I think. Again, dismiss all. There is only dismiss all. No, no, no. All is there. Where is all now? I'm You click on it. Online message for negotiation was received. If I click on it, it has to show me now. It is not showing me. I don't know yet. Okay, leave it. Now he is. Never pop up message. Huh? Pop up message. Click on options and allow it. Okay, okay, fine. And now make an R&D and then see what whether you can open the message and see it or not. Now, he will now go to the procurement and then he will now have to go to the negotiations. And then go there. And then it comes to his area. Now, uh, is the closing next is 176 days. Fine, all, all these things are coming. Itself. With everything, a fine response to score, all these things are coming. So, negotiation, fine, all your responses. It will now show you all the info that's everything now. So here I will now go to the manage negotiations. Go there. So owner is not this one now. Validate it and then whatever they make a search. Right? I will now say C01 is a owner actually. So not C01, D01. D01. D01 is a owner. So it's a EMP1 D01. So EMP1 D01 one. So we'll now make a search for this. You got it, you click on it. It is now closed. The is closed. You know, coming to 31806. Now he is going to do an amendment of it. He is not going to do the scoring now. So he will be open for scoring for you. Go to the place and then go to what? If you go to analyze, score responses is not coming. So this will come only for the scorers actually. It will only come for the scorers and not for others actually. Analyze and then click on score responses. So Calvin Roth is not going to score. He has got one manual one that will be coming on. So all the three responses are available here. Is 137, 140, 143. So 2, 3, and 1. So one third is the one, you know, that is a supply to Frank click on the scoring now. Is a sub two. So let us know disqualify him also. So it has got what two things are there. So one is automatic actually. Number one is automatic, the way score is coming. Number two is manual actually. So he is going to score on this right? the manual one. So let us know disqualify him also. Right? We'll now put one value. One one is a disqualification for this one. Right? So one is a disqualification. We'll now see whether it gets disqualified or not. Right? Internal note. So we'll say disqualified. Disqualified. Right. You know, code. Well, one is automatic, next is manual. So he has got only uh, capability to access only the technical part, not the financial part. 
So he has now disqualified supplier two now. One third of the one is what? One third of the one is what? Supplier two. He is uh, supplier one is automatically got rejected. This is now uh, the Calvin Roth has rejected. Now he will now pass this. He will now pass this. So go there. So click on what happens? Submit his score. Now. Nana, sir, I have a one question. So, so here uh, the line one got scored automatically. If there is a case that for any board, so cannot do any change at all. You cannot change at all. Okay. Go there. So uh, one third of one forty is now done. So we will now pass on these two. No uh, point. One third is one supply two is now disqualified. Fine. Is disqualified by Calvin Roth. Calvin Roth has disqualified. Calvin Roth has disqualified. Now we will now go to one forty. No point. Go to one forty. So you can now see a tick mark coming in. Scoring is now completed. Fine. The response to scoring status is also coming. Fine. One is completed. Two is pending actually. So you know go to the 140 now. One third one forty. One one forty and one forty three is going to pass. He is not going to pass. So first one is automatic, he cannot touch it here, he will not say five. Whatever he has given the response. If you click on the support, whatever you can now see his responses also. Right? Click on the support too. You can now see his, see the participants' responses actually. He has now responded as what? Not allowed, not allowed. Oh, where to see his response here? It is not showing here. Now. How to see his responses on this one? So click on that. We can even see this one before taking a decision. Actually, maybe internal note is there. Oh, yeah, here you can see. So he has now selected B, C, and D. B, C, and D he has selected. So you can see his response values here. Response values are here. So based upon which, what happens? He is now giving a scoring. Right. So passed. Passed. So click on submit. Fine. Uh, sir, uh, if instant message is given, he should uh, knock yeah, off yeah, that, yeah. right? But how he will know, how Calvin Roth will know that uh, that message, if it has been given, uh, it has to be disqualified. Yes, no. Fine. What are all the responses which are required? The phone and instant message, whether it is sufficient or not, he equally has to decide. So Calvin will know. Yeah, Calvin will know. Uh -huh. Calvin will know that whether the response given by the supplier is sufficient for the company or not, based upon which he is going to give a scoring. Okay. Correct. Okay. So, based upon his scoring. So, two of them are completed. The third one also is going to pass. Thank you. Third one, you know, see what are the response he has given. So, based upon it, you will know, see, you will know, make a pass. Fine. And then pass. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, only one has been rejected by him. Thank you. Thank you. Supplier is not a good. Done. Okay. Now we'll know uh, login as uh, the cassette brown. We'll know login as a cassette brown. So yes, complete his activity. Then go click on it. We will know login as a cassette brown. Click on sign out. And then we'll know login as a cassette brown. Confirm. And then we'll know login. He is going to score. C-A-C-Y <coughs> dot B-R-U W-M. Here the pass, somebody has killed around the password. So I am no, I've given welcome one two three now. Calvin, not Calvin, Cassid now. C A C Y dot B R O W L. You will not see whether this systems one is accepting it or not. So get on sign now. He's not accepting it actually. Okay. I have given welcome one two three. Again, somebody might have modified it. People modify the passwords. So welcome one two three. I have given now. So click on signing. He's not accepting it. They will go there and do this. Thing. Ah, this problem. Go there, go to the tools. Go to the tools. And then you'll go to the security console and then you'll modify the Cassie Brown's password now. The users. So the second scorer is now going to score. See if you see why. Cassie Brown. So go there. Cassie uh, space Brown. We are going to do a dot Brown. Cassie dot Brown. Last one. Okay. No, these are the password. Nara, while doing setups of this, then where that this is we have defined now. Where? Of uh, Kelvin and uh, Cassie will give you a score. Yeah, we have already done it. Now, fine. Please watch the previous records. Everything has been done. Team members. Legal team and then the financial team has been set now. At the time, they will be doing it now. Yeah. So that is the place where you are doing it. Now we'll now go on and log in. We'll go to this place. We'll go to this place and then log in. Calvin. Cassie Brown. <coughs> so 
officers will come. So he is going to evaluate what the uh, financial ones, the financial ones will be. So a username and password are being requested by so and so. Come on. I think it is not working. My this thing is not working or you know, still working. No see whether that's successful. Mozilla is giving problem for me. Authentication required is not Identity assertion is still working on otherwise I'll not go via this one. I don't know yet. I will not log out of this. <clears throat> what is this? The first supplier. Supplier is no more required for us. No time that. No log out. I not log in. Like this. So I will say say dot. And click on sign. So Opera is allowing. Mozilla is giving Nakara. <clears throat> So you will not go there, you will not click on the home, and then you know, you're not, it's a basically a supplier portal actually. So, uh, so I'm not going via supply portal actually, and go that corner. You can even go via that also, no problem. You can even go via supply portal also. So I will not go to the procurement. Uh, that also is possible. The so supply portal also. Uh, what is that was called? Negotiations. And then we'll not the negotiation there. Go to the place, go to the manager negotiations. So he has got only ability to what uh, do uh, uh, this thing only scoring only is possible. So D zero one underscore. I will not choose it. I will click on search. Search it, and then he will not click on it. He will not do the responses. So Cassie Brown is now going to perform his uh, responses. So go there. So go to actions and then go to what analyze and not score the responses. This is available only for him. Some messages are also come as a copy to him. So all the things. So he is going to pass everything. We are not going to do anything. Any type of bank account score. We will pass everything. So one is auto, one is manual. Actually. So on the financial one, what happens? The annual turnover is auto, and then agreed to terms is auto, is a manual. One. So let us not pass it. Then can he see Kelvin scores? No, no, no. Other score is only he cannot see. So, uh, cast away, but I'm as a Cassie. Click on submit. So, this one is completed. He is now passing it. Only thing is, we are now only doing what uh, the rejection only from the uh, Calvin Roth side on the technical part. So, go there. So, you say five on it. So, this is the financial one that he has evaluated the technical one. So, Cassie. Okay. Okay. So, click on submit. The final one is no pending. Fine. Two is completed. One is pending. So the one I click on it. You know where to score. Now he has all of them have completed the or I mean the scoring action and everything is completed. Now negative admin is going to close the scoring action. Thank you, Madam. Negative admin is going to close the score. What the negative means one? So you will now um, go to this place, right? negative mean you're going there. And then he's going to close the scoring. When scoring was opened, and then they have already scored now. So you'll now go to this place, and then he will now close the scoring. Procurement, click on it. And then you'll now go to the negotiations. And then in the info letter, we'll now see. Right? Closing next, nothing is available. Everything is closed. And he's going to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. is a pending award. Right? Now pending award is now already closed. One is pending award, actually. New score submitted, it is showing. Huh? Yeah, and the, new, the, yeah. new score submitted. New score submitted. Thank you, that much. Negotiations closed, and the new score submitted is now coming on the info let area. You will not go there. He is now going to close the scoring. Go to the manager negotiations, and then you will not close the scoring. Wound by him, thank you for such. I'm not sure about the things. Right. He will not click on the underline of the negotiation. And then he is now going to close the scoring box. He has opened it, and then everything is now come back. So go to the actions and then go to what? Uh, I will not go to the manage and then close the scoring. You will not close the score. Scoring is be closed. If you are closing the scoring, scoring team members won't be able to enter the scores at all. They already score. <clears throat> so scoring is closed for negotiation. Now he is going to analyze. 
he is going to analyze it so go to the actions and then here go to go to manage and then you go to the award so previously it was what analyze now now analyze has become award actually previously it was analyze so once we have closed it it will not become an award actually and award is pending yeah yeah award is pending so you will not see the systems recommendation view automatic award recommendation with the system i click on it you know go and then have a look at the automatic automatic award recommendation with the system so go that one so he does not recommended these two for three fine because what happens the recommended award so he has got sub one and sub three he has recommended so sub one has given what uh, your uh, this thing now but sub one has given three codes isn't it fine the alternate code also is given by the sub one actually <coughs> You have to see the responses. We will not go on and see the responses. Here, yeah, response is there. Uh, where is the response? Here. Yeah. So, if you click on the response, now, thank you on the response. You will see the alternate is also coming there or not. So, one has given alternate actually. Go to the lines now. So, alternate is also coming over. Okay, click on done. <clears throat> so, he is able to see the response and then he is able to system, see the system response, system reward. Now, I want to see the knockoff criteria. You can even accept the recommendation. I want to see the knockoff criteria. How to see it? I don't know. Click on the manager. Always please don't know. How to see the knockoff requirement? Knockoff things. Whether it had to go one level back or not, I don't see. But this is the first level actually. The first level only you can do. We are in the first level. So we can even see the knockoff criteria for this actually. So go to the actions and then go to the award. Award view. Apply knockout criteria. Yes, it is not coming as in the award. It is not coming as apply knockout criteria. And click on it. We will see what exactly is coming. So here it says what removed from the short list. Sub one and sub two have been removed because sub one was automatic removal, and then sub two is a manual removal by the scorer actually. Got it now? So if you apply it, what happens? Is these two will go away, and only this apply is applied. So, if you apply the knockout criteria, click on OK. Sub one and sub two. Sub one and the automatic one, he is removed, and then sub two has been removed by the Calvin Roth actually. Remember? Fine. So, remove from short list is there. And uh, sub one and sub two. Sub three is only eligible. Fine. Click on OK now. Fine. We are now applying the knockout criteria. You will now see what happens. In order, I go there. Click on it. You go to the award, and then you will now see what happens. There. View automatic award requisition. Right? View automatic award requisition. Now go there and see. See, there is only uh, what happens. Sub three is only recommended. Fine. Sub one and sub two are knocked off. Now let us now bring back in. Now, fine. Next admin can very well bring back in. We will now bring back in whatever has been knocked off. And go to this place and then go to the award and then go to the apply knockout criteria. <clears throat> now have a look at it. Now, fine. So he wants to bring both. Now, fine. Select it. Now, fine. So current shortlist is no. How to enable it here? They can very well bring in now. There is no more shortlisted, and then I want to bring him back in now. Fine, it's possible. I have done it. <laughs> you know, forgot on that now. Sub one, let I click on the fine. Right? No, click on the sub one now. Current shortlisted is not uh, is not shortlisted. Transaction is straight. Everything is coming now. Fine, right? not. <coughs> Supplier context. Come on, how to uh, bring back in now? Fine, we can even reverse it actually. That is not visible here now. Go to actions and go to award. In the award negotiation, compare award. Okay, this is okay. Few responses is okay. This area is not allowing me to reverse it. Actually, we can select it. Can we put a tick mark on this? So no selection is basically possible here. Remove from remove from remove from short list. That is what is coming. Response. If we check the response. Okay, this is the response. Okay, keep on the response. One three seven response. I'm checking it, and then see. Point. Go there. Go to the requirements area. So, is okay. When here it has been uh, what happens? A pull down maybe. In action, you can do something. In actions, go there. Go to actions. View responses. View response. When suppliers view, fine. Somebody tell me about how to do this now. Fine. I don't know how to because I have done it. A long time back, I did it. Fine. Bringing it back from the shortlisted list to what happens? This one now. What else? Click on it. Hmm. Bull gap. <clears throat> that will do. Good actions. And then go to monitor. Monitor is only monitor negotiation. I will now monitor the negotiation from there. We can now bring it back up. Monitoring the negotiation from there. So I have one scenario uh, in which uh, this uh, is uh, very much required. 
you know we have uh, knocked out two suppliers and one we are going to you know award it yeah. but uh, uh, once uh, we are going to award and he is getting the award you know our sarkar is going to change uh, drastic changes in uh, fuel and uh, petrols and gases right so he might say that yaar wo to mujhe nahi parwarta correct in that case uh, we have again go back to uh, other, uh, two other suppliers and we have to give them uh, the reward right so in that particular scenario this is a uh, very much required you know how to do it no friend are to samajh mein nahi aa raha mere ko friend actions and then go to award in the apply knockout criteria friend how to reverse it are you able to use manage where is the manage the manager the manager no sir manage no go there the manage reopen scoring oh reopen scoring oh why why one that one only you can do it oh god scoring can be reopened and then done it or what oh, yeah oh. as a neg admin you can do it it's in oh, neg admin must be having powers i have done from neg admin itself no fine yeah, maybe in that case reopen scoring oh god actions uh you is only for viewing right neg admin must be having purpose to override the scorer's recommendation actually manage the manage scoring yeah the manage scoring will only show you the what's called the scoring team one and the plus scoring is complete we can reopen the scoring and then ask him to what happens uh, uh reach uh, rescore it actually but he must be having this he must be having purpose to it. And click on the responses here. so click on the responses on this three responses are coming So this is a recommended one. I think so. This is a surrogate response. Surrogate response. Ah, again, see the thing. So click on the underline of it. Underline. Good actions and good award. In the award negotiation, we will not see whether it is possible or not. Award negotiation. We now go there. Click on it. We are going to award it actually. So here in the award negotiation, all the three are coming. Okay, apply now. Code criteria here is there. You select it and then what happens? We will not try to bring it. So apply now. Code criteria yes, correct. So in the award negotiation, we can know the negative being can reverse it. Yes, yes, yes. So change shortlist. Yes. So go there. Click on change shortlist. Yes. So it is automatic one time. The action will not change the shortlist. Yes, go there. Yes, go there. The award negotiation is able to shortlist is not changed. Well, apply. You know what? So here you can upload. It. Yes, correct. So that's why I was thinking that Nick Gatman has got powers to do anything. Fine, change shortlist is you know what? Thank you for this. So shortlist is done. You know done. Thank you. Click on that. So in the award negotiation, we are able to change the shortlist status action. Good, good, good. So go there. Click on it. We will now click on the award and then view automatic award recommendation. Go there. Click on it. We can now see this. So the uh, sub one and sub three are recommended action. So it's now recommended. Click on it. Click on it now. Come on up it, and then we will now manually award. I don't want to accept that. Then we will actually want to now go to the award, and then we will now manually award it. Go to the award negotiation. No, no award negotiation. And then here we are not seeing okay? all these things are coming. So we have to go to award actually. Award with spreadsheet is there, and then export import. We can even do it. Okay? That is the lab access for you. So we have to award it. Okay? So if you go there, and then I have to see the award. The award is not coming. Why? So click on it. I will now select all the three. So click on it. Yes, come now. Yeah, once when you select all the three, we will now come to the award. We now plan to award to all the people now. So the system has given a recommendation. Now you will now see all the things, right? whatever has been given now. <clears throat> so, so the system has also given award. So what I am going to do is, is now fifteen quantities now. Find that I will now award to all the people. Fine, let me award this. Fine, let me award. I will now award. Click on award now. Sub one, I am going to award it now. So what is the quantity I am going to award? And go down. So how to enter the quantity? Come on. How the quantity can be entered here? Uh, one, these three, you can select one. Out of three, only one can be selected. Ah, huh? oh, the highest one. Okay, only one can be selected for entering. Okay, you cannot use that. Anybody? Some fun is the lowest. Award for everybody. How to do that? I want to give some sum for everybody. Can you cancel now? I want to give some sum for everybody. So. Without you sir, want to distribute the quantities. Yeah. I want to distribute the quantities. Okay, fine. This is okay. This is okay. But awarding on the lines area, I can we give the, the line level award now? So I now select it and then click on the award. Line level first one. I will now click on the award now. I will now select the lines and then I am going to go. As at the supplier level, at the line level, I am going to award. 
Yeah, here quantity is coming. Here response quantity is coming. Not coming. So response quantity, the line level is coming, but in the supplier level, it is not coming. No, I want award for all now. Fine, how to put it? How to put it? Award quantity. Award quantity is now coming. Award as... quantity was there. Was there previously? See, previously it was yeah. not. Uh, it's here. Is it? Award quantity is there. Yeah, I will not show. Right? I will not say ten here and then three here. Right? Depending upon how much of bribe I have got from suppliers, I am going to award it. Good. Nara, so, when you have selected this, na. Yeah. Line level, it was automatically showing yeah. this award yeah. quantity. Yeah, line level only award quantity is shown. At the supplier level, it is not showing. Right. Supplier level, it is not showing. Good. So, we are able to award line line level. We are able it happens to. only if you get same price. No? So, like, if you no, get... design. This, these are all the information for the net bed to design. Fine. All these things are available. So, on this basis, you can even award on a different one. Fine. Systems recommendation also can be accepted, or he can even award on his own variant. That's it. Fine, go there. Give on save and close. No? So he has not done for line one. No? Fine, line one he has given award. So it is what line one is what 10, 3, and 2. Fine, click on save and close. No? He has not completed. He will similarly for line two, he will not award. So he has given award. Fine, send it to them. We'll now go to the line two. Actually. How to go to the line two? Uh, Line two, yes, award. So I'll keep the cursor on the second line and then award. First line I have already awarded. Second line, I'm going to award. I click on award now. So I'm going to award the second line. Line the line, I'm awarding it. So second line, I'm going to go there. Thank you for it. So here, what happens? You go there. So here, uh, we can award only one of them. So not all. So this is amount based, yes. That's why what happens is we cannot award on the quantity. So either one or two or three only can be awarded. So I will now give it to number one. Number one, I'm going to award. So it is a radio button, remember. So since the second line is the amount based, so you cannot award to multiple suppliers. One, 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 one we award. You now give it to supplier one. You now go there. And then click on save and close. And save and close. By which this is now completed. The award is now completed. I have one question. Yeah, tell me. In case supplier had, has added one line from his yeah, side. Yeah, we added one line now on sub one. I don't know what will happen to that now. <laughs> we are not getting that uh, as a what's called. Yeah, that's why we are not getting that. Hmm. Getting what happens? Analysis on the added line actually. You give supplier one now. Fine. Click on the response now. Fine. Click on the response. If then, you want to select the substituted uh, one. Substitute is not coming at all in anywhere in the award line. Award is not coming. exactly. exactly. Yeah. See, from supplier, he is telling that instead of this material, if I. Uh, but I, I won't add uh, offer on this and not on the original one. How to do it now? If it is an alternate one, I must be able to change now. Huh? And the award. Yeah. Now, in that case, again, you need to send the amendment or revised uh, oh. quote. That means what? It is only for information purposes you are saying. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Supplier is saying that I can supply this material also for this price. And then uh, send a new one now, fresh round of quotes. So, okay. Yeah. So he said, I'm that seeing that uh, lowest price, we can attempt to uh, quote the uh, send the revised uh, quotation. Is uh, okay. So he's saying that someone's uh, uh, the uh, alternate line will not come into your picture at all. Fine. Ten is added, awarded only for the uh, what happens, whatever negotiated one. So everything is not on fine. So we have completed the award for both the lines actually. Means uh, means. Uh, what he is saying, uh, if we want to add that this line, then we have to amend the RFP. No, that's what he's saying. RFP has to be amended. That's what he's saying. Okay. Right. So whatever has been added, that line has added now. Fine. That will not come into picture at all. That's what he's saying. Fine. Good. So we will now go to complete award. So having done this one, line level awards you are given now. Fine. So sub one has got a second line also is amount based. Fine. Click on complete award. You are going to complete it. So here create the purchase order document now. Fine. For that one. Create purchase document. Notify all the decisions of the supplier. So, so when you're completing the award, you're going to get the purchase order documents. Fine, click on OK. Now, fine. You're not going to complete it. Also. Will the award go for approval? Yeah, it will go to approval. It will not go for automatic approval. Okay? Depending upon the approval setups, it will not go. I hope that nobody has fiddled around on the approvals. And so, what happens? It will be getting approved. Fine, go there. So, the award negotiation is now complete. Now, fine, go there. And then we are going to submit it actually. The award is completed. Now initiate the approval for all the three suppliers. And then click on submit. So by which the total negotiation is now complete. Got it now. Any doubts? So click on submit. And then what happens? The purchase order will be created. Click on submit. There is the last part of it now. Click on submit. 
So award is complete and then you are now submitting it for approval actually, initiating the approval. 31806.1 is not done. So we will go for a break and then come back and then we will now see the POs. Yes. Just one question, Anna, sir. This will create a standard PO? Yeah, yeah. Standard PO only we are given as output. Na. We can even make it as a BPA or as a CPA also. From this, we can get the BPA as well as CPA. That is uh, the here in oh, sorry. Uh, here initiate approval is for what actually? When the PO is created, it will initiate the approval also. Okay. It will be submitted for approval actually. That is what it means. Any other questions on this now? I think in EBS, I think PO and BPA was possible. CPA was not possible. It will be possible. All the three are possible. No? Fine. It, not, it was not shown in the beginning itself. Fine. All the three, you can use it. No? Fine. PO or BPA or CPA, anything. Can so this is the enhancements in cloud, I think. In EBS, we don't have this ah, like CPA. Okay. It may be an enhancement in cloud. And that's it. We will now go for a break and then I will now come back. No, it's 7, 5, 7.20, I will now come back and then I will now start the next session. Oh God, it was taking a long time actually. <laughs> I never thought that this would be. So because of some some understanding problem, we were struggling on the knockout criteria because I did it. I was not re exactly remembering about it from the award. We can uh, make a reverse of the knockout. So knockouts given by the system as well as the scorers can be very well re 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 reversed by the neg admin. Actually. Neg admin has got all the purposes. I hope that this is now clear on this knockout. So let me go out and then come back and then 7.15 we will now get it.